We are live, Doreen, Dr. Doreen Downing. Hello. Hi. Thank you. This is uh, you and I are friends, and it's fun to meet in this format so that other people can be viewing what it is that you and I, how we are with each other, because we seem to mirror back, because we both believe in some really deep and beautiful ways of being. Yes, yes, absolutely. I think being authentic and being able to be authentic and speak yeah. how something actually is for you and what you want people to be able to hear is so important in my work. And I love that this is what you do. This is how you help women. So I want to, um, for those of you tuning in, I just want to quickly introduce Dr. Doreen Downing. Um, for those of you watching, whether now live, go ahead and wave if you're watching live or um, watching this uh, recording a little bit later. Either way is okay. And either way, make use of the comments uh, under what you're seeing right now to ask Dr. Doreen Downing any questions or give feedback. So um, Dr. Doreen Downing is a fearless speaking coach and she works with women who struggle to speak up in public because they're afraid of being judged. I love that you just come out and just claim that because who doesn't sometimes or maybe often fear being judged. And you, Dr. Downing, help these women build confidence so they can speak with ease, whether, and this is important, whether that's personally or professionally. So I'm so happy to have you here. Dr. Downing, um, just to get us started, I always love to get really, just jump right into the personal because I think people hearing personal stories of transformation, even when they're super specific to your to yourself, mm -hmm. uh, we can more easily find ourselves in that. So I wonder if you could tell us what um, what brought you to this work of helping others find their voice? Oh, well, let's see. First, let me just say, as a psychologist, that's how I was trained. And I think that uh, just my curiosity, my love of discovery, and also I don't know, living in California with all of this <laughs> new age movement uh, happening around me as I was going to college, kind of woke me up to the fact that there's way more inside of us than uh, usually we learn when we're going through school. So I think that just the fascination was always there anyway. So that would be one, one way mm -hmm. I think that brought me to this work, which is just my, uh, psycho my psychology background. Okay. However. <laughs> Getting a little more personal, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got it. Um, Doreen is somebody who's, uh, you know, was able to put on a good front. I was popular in school. I went to University of California, Berkeley. I had lots of experiences being out there, but I have learned since that even professionally, whatever I did out there was a far distant distance from an inner person that hid. Like I had a PhD, however, I think I hid behind those those letters. And nobody would guess that I had stage fright. I think so many, I'm raising my hand as far as being able to relate, but I think so many women can relate to having like a, a role or a degree yeah. or a history that they can kind of um, hide behind. And this isn't because we want to present falsely. We don't consciously want to present falsely, but but uh, maybe there's something in us that's afraid of mm -hmm. actually letting our full selves or something we're afraid people might have a negative opinion about be seen. Mm -hmm. So I love that you 
first of all, set us at ease about your training, but also like you have a personal stake in this. There's a reason that you're doing this. You're right. It was it was personal. But I love the way you uh, caught that I was going to go personal, <laughs> you know, that that kind of uh, listening to. And I think that's what what I loved about what I still love about doing the deeper inner work in psychology is it takes a special kind of listening. So I think that's one of the things that I I do do is bring that to the work that I do with people to help them find their voice because it's a journey it's a journey to who am I because the voice comes from self right so you've got mm -hmm. to go find the self so that's why my psychology mm -hmm. comes right close to my fearless speaking coach business mm -hmm. is that you know to find yourself you'll find your voice and then we work on well how do we move you your voice out into the world and that would be uh, kind of a quick quick snapshot of why what I do and and why I do it and because it's a personal journey I've taken to find my voice yes and I love that you have both of these you have the psychologist who is trained in and deeply listening to people and maybe helping them you know get more in touch with themselves. I'm putting it in my own words, but then you also have this, you know, not to say that all therapists aren't practical, but you also have this very practical approach in coaching uh, women to be able to be more themselves and more confident in how they are personally and maybe professionally. Yes. I would like to, um, speak for a number of my friends. I, I'm in a, I'm, I'm personally writing a memoir and I know I have lots of friends in, in a writing community who have something really important that they want to convey and that the stakes feel really high about saying it publicly. So not just putting it out in the form of a book, but also because, you know, once it's out in a book, we want to stand by it and we want to be able to let people know that this is available to them. If we hide at that point, no one's going to read the book, right? No one's going to know about it. Mm -hmm. So how would you, how would you, um, what would you say to, to my writer friends or just to, to um, a woman who is watching this, who might have something so important to her, a cause, a mission, a, uh, Mm -hmm. something she just feels so strongly about that she wants to be able to help other people hear what she has to say. Yeah, it brings to mind just a recent client of mine who wrote a book around uh, growing up with hearing loss. And the title of the book is So, so You Look So Normal. Because, you know, she had long hair, could hide the the clumpy, whatever they are, the kind of whatever we had the hearing aids when we were growing up, you know, they were ugly. And so, you know, how to navigate early on. And so she wrote a book about that. But uh, because of her life experience, she wasn't somebody who spoke a lot. <laughs> you know, mm. she definitely was a quieter type. And uh, so to write this book is one thing. And then to write about the ways in which people treated her or ignored her or the challenges she had along the way. Um, now she's, she, her book was launched in June, early June. And, uh, but she was so scared to go out there. So scared. She had experiences growing up where uh, she tried to speak in front of groups and it was not successful for her. And mm. it was, you know, not necessarily bull bullied, but teased. You know, mm -hmm. so there's, I don't want to go out there. And so here she is as an adult and having written the book and, you know, got gotten, found her voice in that way, but how to find her voice when she goes out to launch her book and shows up on uh, radio, podcasts, um, workshops, book stores. She was, she's been booked at bookstores because it's a, it's going to, it's going to be a, it is a popular book. So anybody listening to it, go get it. But so how did I help her? You know, how did I help her? Uh, it it had to do with also the two aspects you pointed to, which is 
let's go back and look at the little girl who, you know, you had to move on, but she was still, she's still scared inside of you. So mm. it's a little bit of what you might call inner child work is to mm. say hello in there. We know it was really hard. It's different now. We have more skills. Let's, let's help you um, tell your story because it's you that mm -hmm. have the experience. I mean, yes, I'm an adult now and I could talk about it, but it's actually the more vulnerable voice is you. So how do we help your vulnerable voice come out and feel strong? So that's, mm -hmm. and that's more of the coaching about mm -hmm. learning how to stay connected with your vulnerable voice and to find people in the listening audience that you feel really are there listening, like you are with me right now. Mm -hmm. Listen to the listening. That's one of the skills I teach. That's listen what, to that's, the listening. I mean, my, yeah, my superpower is listening. So I'm teaching speakers how to listen when they are in front of a group. It's a whole new skill. I mean, like who teaches listening? Oh Did my gosh, I wish I wish it were <laughs> curriculum number one in schools, right? Yeah. To, yeah. to ourselves to others wow what a place to start like actually helping this client feel um feel safe safe first yeah and you were listening to her so the connection yes you were offering that to her and then she was offering it to herself yes. and then it sounds like tell me if i'm wrong reading into this it sounds like then she's also more attuned to the people in her audience who are listening. That can... You've got it. And yeah. Heidi, I know, I know your work. So I know that one of the values that you have is connection. And I'm so glad you picked up on it because I hadn't really seen it as clearly as you just described it is the power of connection. Mm -hmm. and that's partly what I, I hear from you and what you teach. Mm, and I and I hear that in yours in your teaching <laughs> clearly as well um yeah so it sounds like she's doing really great she yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so the you asked me well to give a tip I guess and I'm not sure it's really a tip because the practice and learning how well through the work that you do it is learning how to come down to a centered grounded Oh, a quieter place inside. And then there's more room for the self, the more vulnerable self or the true self or whatever we want to call it, the essence of you to mm -hmm. the one who has the voice to come up because the channels of fear aren't blocking. Mm. So, um, I guess those mm. in the book group, if they have, a way to <laughs> learn how to find the strength from within because it's not about making a better speech. Oh, oh, that sounds important. The yeah. way you said it, it just like, if we had little bubbles going here and we could put like yellow around <laughs> it. And so it's not about making a better speech. Yeah, so that sounds like a, a teaser. Maybe because I'm not going to ask you to give away your whole class. I know that you're teaching one tomorrow, yes. a free class. So I'm not going to ask you to give us the whole the whole class right now. But that sounds like a wonderful teaser. So it's not actually about making a perfect speech. Yeah, or even a better speech. And when you focus on only giving the speech and what you say, you lose the sense of self. Because, you know, you're preparing, you're rehearsing, but the self also has to be prepared. Meaning, you know, we have to learn how to quiet the mind and calm the nervous system. Some of the mm -hmm. self-regulation techniques that you teach mm -hmm. and the breath that you also, um, yeah. I, I call it easy, easy breath. Um, I don't teach a particular way but I like your straw breath and your mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love and, the word easy uh, in front of anything is awesome yeah yeah easy in front of anything is awesome that's that's pretty <laughs> profound 
<laughs> well, I, you know, in my community, a really fundamental thing is that if willpower had worked, it would have worked a long time ago, right? If trying harder would have oh. worked, it would have worked a long time ago because we both yeah. probably work with really, really um, smart people and they may actually even be very self-aware. And yet there's some, some fundamental things that haven't been able to change. So, and I also, one of the other important things that I think will encourage, I think it encourages us to reach out to you for help is that it's not just about self-regulation, that we can't do these things alone. Mm -hmm. um, once we have learned it from someone and we've had that experience with someone else, then we can self-regulate. Then we can like look at ourselves and say, you can do this, you can do this, Heidi, you can speak to this group. Mm -hmm. But I love, like, I feel like I'm putting people in your hands so mm -hmm. that you and they... <laughs> are working together in this yeah. thing of being more visible. That's another thing that, uh, you know, I'm 56 women, women, my age, Gen X women, and this isn't just what you're teaching for Gen X women, but women that are aging in um, today and historically, there's a huge kind of invisibility that starts happening because of how we're, you know, mm -hmm. how society is programmed to value certain certain looks certain opinions and so visibility can be tricky and i love that your you know visibility and being able to be heard are so yeah. you know they yeah. kind of go together right right i would like to ask your permission to use a phrase you just use in my master class tomorrow so if anybody is listening today and shows up tomorrow they'll know it came from Heidi so what is it it's when you said uh and it had to do with willpower if willpower worked it would have already done the it would have worked a long time ago it would have worked by now so I'd like to use that tomorrow absolutely thank you absolutely <laughs> that feels like making the world a a safer and friendlier place for us to be able to be ourselves. So yes. absolutely take it, take it and run with it. <laughs> so if anybody, if anybody out there shows up tomorrow for my master class and you hear me say that, you know, write in the comments, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's see, Doreen, I want to take advantage of this time that we have <clears throat> And um, I'm going to go and I wish I, I seem to have left my phone in the other room, which is where I had set up to be able to keep an eye on the Facebook live stream. So tell us maybe, tell us something else that you would love for people to, to know that would make it easier to uh, be uh, able to speak fearlessly while yeah. I look up if there's anyone asking questions. Go ahead. I, I would say that the masterclass is called From Quiet to Confident. And the, the whole idea is because that's what I feel like a lot of us, I know I relate to that as an introvert, but also, you know, having a profession called psychology where I was quiet. <laughs> I didn't learn how to speak. So there's a way in which I think we sometimes trap ourselves from um, being able to be, like you say, visible or get out there in the world. And maybe we have a message and we hold ourselves back because we're quieter types. So from quiet to confident, and it's three steps to fearless speaking so you can be heard. And the three steps to fearless speaking, I don't think I could, I mean, it doesn't matter if I give it away right now, but because the whole philosophy is um, to face it. That's the first, you have, I mean, that, that's what you teach also is awareness. A face mm -hmm. it, don't face it. You're going in the opposite direction than what you mm -hmm. want, which is on the other side of what uh, fear is blocking you from. And then the third, uh, the second step is embrace, which is more of the safe, gentle way of approaching fear rather than coming at it like, you know, yeah. get way, fight it will will it right be willful <laughs> with it uh if willpower had worked it would have worked by now um mm -hmm. so that there's a whole new 
way of being with fear, which is embracing. And then the third step is replacing. And of course, I'm not giving my whole find your voice 12 week training program away tomorrow, but I'm, I'm pointing to that is that mm -hmm. in order to be able to find your voice. You've got to be able to first be able to uh, either, if you want to call it regulate fear, or at least be able to move through fear so that then you can reach your voice and your voice could come up without being blocked. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Um, you know, I, yeah, it, in, in my work with people, it just, there's so many correlations. So it just makes me think about like, it's the point isn't to like never feel fear again. And there, we would probably, you know, from a nervous system perspective, not be alive if we weren't able to feel fear because we should feel it sometimes. Mm -hmm. And maybe we practice listening and turning toward the part of us that's afraid, but we don't let it drive the bus, right? Mm -hmm. And you're helping someone be able to turn toward. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like, but from what you're saying, like, look at it. Yeah, face it. Yeah, yeah. face it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's and so that that even is a whole question: is how do you help people who don't want to face it? How do you help them join a class like mine? Well, they have to be ready, I guess. But you know, it's an invitation that there's something other than Toastmasters out there for people. You are not Toastmasters, Dr. Doreen Downing. You are not Toastmasters. And I feel so good putting, putting people, my friends and my community in your hands. Thank you. um, and yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking specifically of, um, of women, of people. Do you work with both men and women or just women? Yes, or do you work with all all identifications I, on the gender all spectrum. identifications and all ages. I'm working with uh, actually uh, somebody who's uh, finished college or finished high school, just going into college and wants to make sure that she feels like she's got a voice. And I'm working with somebody who's retired teacher who felt like she was comfortable in front of a class, but never felt comfortable in front of staff always too busy and finally is making time for personal development later in life so wow. it's great. I love that oh my gosh the whole the whole spectrum of ages I just love that and that I just I'm like adoring this high school just graduated from high school going to college that that generation is just so open-hearted and and willing I just and yeah I just love your examples thank you so i am going to put in the comments um, a link for you to register if you're watching this and you would like to come to doreen's master class tomorrow i'm going to put that in the comments right below and i would like you to feel free i know this is during a lot of people's work day um I would like you to feel free to put questions in the comments or just um, if something lands for you that Dr. Dr. Downing has said or just something tickled your curiosity, put that in the comments and we will both be sure to be looking at that and getting back to you. But I just really want to recommend that you come to Doreen's class tomorrow. And I have such curiosity about your program, but this would be a really good taste of of you as a teacher and as a uh, coach in this area. Is that right? Yeah. I, f I facilitate change and transformation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what would you like to leave um, anyone who's more in touch with the part of them that's afraid to say what they want to say than the part of them who's brave? Oh, um, that's a good, good question. Hmm. Take your time. Partly what I'll be teaching tomorrow is compassion, cultivating compassion for yourself and 
that is, I think, the, what I want to leave people with today is this, the power of finding a kind, gentle, accepting way of being with a part or with um, fear or with anything that, well, that you said it specifically was somebody who's scared to, to come out is just saying, you don't have to come out. Nobody's forcing you. Just let me be here with you and listen. Yeah, <laughs> just, I, I'll be here. I'll listen. And I'm not going to go away. I'm not going to go away. I'm here yeah. and I'll listen. And that's transformational. So transformational. I have I have witnessed that. And I I love that for, for the area that you're working with. I just love imagining how that could possibly happen. And I... I know you have lots of stories of where that has changed for people. And, and I know too that sometimes or often actually the step in being able to transform is just being willing to take that next baby step. It's not a whole big belief that you can do it, right? Yeah. 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 So if someone has that desire to be more authentic, to say their truth, to be more visible, that is enough. Mm -hmm. able to take a next little step yeah no one's gonna like push you to do something that you're not ready for and you don't push yourself either you don't push just yourself be, just be with yourself in a way you haven't yet wow okay. wow oh that leaves me with such a sense of possibility i'm so excited for this class tomorrow so tell us again the name of it and the time and we're going to pop a link into the comments where people can register. From quiet to confident, three steps to fearless speaking so you can be heard. Pacific time, 4 p.m. And your time, Eastern, it will be 7 p.m. A little Perfect. late for Europe, but uh, mid-morning for Europe. But for Australia, it's just a good time, I think, so... Awesome. And will so there be a replay? You want people to register even if they're... I want people to register and I want them to show up on camera yes. because that's energetically how I work best. If they're going to multitask, it's probably best just to wait, maybe get the replay or watch something else. But uh, if they really want and are serious about uh, making a change in this area, come on camera. Let's I mean, because that's part of the fear. Let's let's start right there. Show up, please. Yes. And if they can't make the time, though, they should still register so that they, get, they can get the replay. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So go ahead and register anyway. Yeah. Always more powerful to be there in person, though. Always. Always. Yeah. yeah. But this has been a, a good taste of what they could get today in uh, terms of how who I am and what I believe and uh, what I know is possible. Doreen, I am so thrilled that you're, oh, I meant to put a little heart in the corner and now there's all the hearts. <laughs> I am so thrilled yeah, that you're I offering that. this. That's great. <laughs> and I hope lots of my people, lots of my friends and clients sign up to hear th this awesomeness that you're going to be teaching tomorrow. So thank you so much. Thank I look you. forward to the next time I see you and um, yeah, can't wait thank to hear you. how it goes. Thank you, Heidi. Okay. Bye-bye.